Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mike. I am the Bowtie RN. I want to go ahead and do this week, I'm going to go ahead and do a straight razor shave. So thanks to the guys over the Shaving Cadre, they've uh, given me quite a bit of tips and tricks and hints. Um, if you haven't seen Handlebarber Dave's SRS series, he did just add a new one. And he keeps talking about he's going to refresh the old ones and put them in an HD format. I'll be honest, I didn't even realize they weren't in an HD format, but... I can't wait to see what he does when he does refresh those. Um, what I am going to be using today, though, is the Gold Dollar. This is Gold Dollar 100. It's got the uh, nice um, dark green scales, kind of metallic. It's plastic, but it's still a nice looking razor. Um, definitely an entry point razor, but I'm brand new to straight razor shaving. So as long as the razor works, I don't think there's any anything wrong with a straight razor that's entry level versus one of the four or five, six hundred dollar ones. Maybe someday someone will get send me one of those, but I can't see me affording one of those anytime soon. I do have, just as a backup, I have my Razor Rock, the uh, Game Changer with the .84, and I have that loaded with a uh, Persona Platinum Blade. For soaps today, actually, I think I'm going to use something from across the borders. Um, from over in Canada, this would be the Henri Victoria, the Cognac and Cuban Cigars. Really nice. Um, this is about a four ounce. A nice tan soap, but uh, definitely on one of the on the slightly softer side. Not super soft like a uh, the the Parasso White, but still a nice soft soap. Smells nice. Um, I do get the kind of a warm cognac scent off it um, right off the puck. I don't get the Cuban cigar, but as soon as you go ahead and lather it up, the uh, Cuban cigar does come out. I'm going to be lathering that up today. I've actually already did lather it up, but I'm lathering up today with my Simpsons Trafalgar T2. That is with the uh, Sovereign Synthetic Knot. And I've got that in my Rodak bowl. Um, see if I can show you kind of the texture on the bottom of this one. It's kind of hard to see. I've got it on one of my other videos. We can see the texture on the bottom of this one. That's the Rodak bowl. Um, whips up really nice. The texture on the bottom definitely helps. It's aggressive enough to whip up the soap and add agitation to that, but it's not too aggressive that I think it's going to ruin any of my brushes. All right, so that's looking really nice. Throw that up there, nice sheen, nice and soft. I think I got plenty of water in there. I did go ahead and just finish my shower. I'm actually a little bit over 24 hours worth of growth. I do grow fairly quickly, but I had some had a, an event at a friend's house yesterday so I went ahead and shaved for that. All right, get a little bit of water on there. I don't wanna to get too much, just a little bit easier, a little bit less noisy than using the sink. All right, take that lather up there. Again, like I said, this soap, really nice scent. Um, I have used it a couple times already. Nice and slick, very protective. For me at least. I've seen a couple other guys who use this as well so that's kind of a good endorsement that it's a nice quality soap. Kind of went without the pre-shave today. I started I tried using a pre-shave oil but it really seems like it breaks up as soon as I, it makes it really hard for my soaps. So I don't know if I'm doing something wrong there or what, but as soon as I put the soap to my face, it kind of just, it really just dissipates. I can't get a good mixture on it. Might be a little dry today. I'm gonna to add a little bit more water. That feels a little better. Again, with a straight razor, I don't want to be, don't want that super thick, creamy. I want protective, but I don't want, I want it to be nice Definitely on the wet side. At least for me, it works better. Other guys may tell you different, but your mileage may vary. Um, you shave how you like it, your face, your rules. <clears throat> I did get a lot of my tips and tricks from Barbara Dave, so I kind of combined a lot of his videos into what seems like it works for me and seems like it would help me. I haven't done a full three pass yet. I have done two passes and a little bit of cleanup, but I have not done a full three pass with a straight razor. I kind of stick, even with my regular DEs, I kind of stick with a two pass shave anyways. All right, 
Like I said, the gold dollar, the 100, take that right up to the face. This one actually, if, if you're curious, um, Anthony Esposito put the sheet, put the uh, edge on this one. He honed it for me. This one definitely, I, think, I feel like it sings a little bit more. And my gold dollar 300, it's got a little bit more feedback to it. Still getting used to it. Feels really nice though to me. Um, I almost might put it a little bit smoother than the, the 300. I know some of you guys can shave right in the uh, the phone's phone's lens, but I'm not there yet. So I'm using my front phone, my front mirror. Kind of skipping a little bit. I'm trying to keep the blade moving before I touch down. I don't want to cut my face up too much. I'll leave that there for right now. Switch hands up. Still trying to use the right hand on the right side for that first pass and the left hand on the left side. So that's going pretty well for me. Um, still not super comfortable with it. This for me is straight razor shave number six. I do like the sing on that one. It was just the scale hitting the sink, don't worry. It wasn't the blade. Definitely in this area right here, I feel more comfortable with my left hand, so I might have to kind of adapt and use that a little more. See right here, I do have a cut. It's actually not from a straight razor. I did it with the other day with a uh, a blade that I wasn't familiar with. I don't remember what, what kind of blade it was. It was, um, I think it was the Tatra blade.
in one of my um, DEs. I don't have to wait and get that on the on the has going up. I'm just having a hard time getting in there. And I don't want to shave cut myself. So. All right. How done this left handed it? Let's see how it works. some of that felt back on there. I'm gonna have to call that with the first pass. Got quite a bit down. Um, if you've noticed, I do gr my facial hair does grow pretty fast, and it's really thick. Um, as far as first passes go, it's not bad for me with a straight razor. Um, pretty comfortable. I don't see any cuts yet. Um, not super close, but I'm not going for super close yet. I'm still trying to get used to the mechanics. And the feel of a straight razor before I go and f go for that BBS shave. If I want BBS, I know I can get from a DE, but it's a little more fun to go ahead and use that straight razor. I'm getting there. Some of you guys have commented. Thanks, thanks for the comments and encouragement. Both guys from the shaving cadre, and then guys from just my regular YouTube channel. One thing I definitely like about this community, everyone's very supportive of each other. I did have one troll on my YouTube page, but I just deleted him or her, I really don't know. I'm not about negative attitudes. It's supposed to be fun, it's supposed to be a little bit, a little bit enjoyable, and it's enjoyable for me. So I don't need any of that. All right, I'm gonna kind of do something a little bit different this time. I'm gonna go up on the neck and maybe across on the face. We'll see, we'll see how it feels going through. I get a little bit too far down, clean some of that off. Take my finger to the Allen block, go ahead and make that nice and sticky. All right. I know I started out using my wrist a little bit too much. Don't yell at me, Dave. I'm getting it. I'm going to get the heel of the blade there in there a little bit easier for me in that spot. All right, quite a bit. Looks good. I'll go ahead and continue on the side of the face. It, it feels good, feels comfortable. We'll see how it does. See, I might change it up.
me sideways here. Some whiskers there. I'm gonna have to clean up with the DE. I don't want it to push it too far. And a little bit of moisture back into that. This is the pet. This is the one I had the hardest time with. My left hand, but going up on my neck, it just, it's not comfortable for me. I'm still trying to figure it out. It doesn't, doesn't feel natural yet. And I know none of this is natural, but it'll, it'll get there. I'll get there. Our hand's a little bit too slippery. Definitely hear quite a bit of feedback on that. Feels pretty good um, as far as on the face. It feels, still feels really awkward with my hand. I know it looks even more awkward than it feels. Not too bad. Actually, I'm gonna go ahead and switch up to my right. About ready to call it for the straight. That's pretty good. Looks like I might have got one little, little teeny tiny weeper. 
It's not bleeding anymore, so I'm not even 100% sure if that was from today. Get that rinsed off, get that razor set down. Go ahead and switch over. Um, finish up that third pass. I'll go ahead and do that third pass, that cleanup pass with my DE. For those of you guys that hung out, thank you. I know it's kind of a long shave for me. I try and keep them a little bit quicker. But the last thing I want to do is rush through a straight razor shave and end up cutting myself to bits. It's been a good shave so far. I love the soap, love the scent. Um, like I said, once it's, once it's lathered, you really get that Cuban cigar. Nothing like a regular cigar over here. Feels actually really good. Not a ton of feedback. So I think I did a pretty good job. There's some. Not a ton of whiskers on the blade either. That sounds really good as far as feedback. Hardly any feedback for me. And this is the, like I said, the game changer. It's usually really good with feedback. There you hear it there. Definitely tell the difference between the right and the left because on the right, I just did sideways, side to side, instead of going up. But it, did, it wasn't comfortable and didn't want to take the chances of cutting myself. So I went ahead and did sideways. It's a little more comfortable. All right, that's my shave. Go ahead and get that rinsed off real quick. Pull out the Allen block. Feels super smooth. Definitely up here. Maybe a little bit down in here, but not bad at all. Let's see what the Allen block thinks. Not bad. A little bit of heat, a little bit of sting in here. Nothing too bad. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and let this sit for, you know, 30, 40 seconds as I clean up my razors and dry off that straight razor. Other than that, um, thanks for hanging out with me. A little bit longer shave than normal, but it was a good shave for me. I don't see any major blood, so that's always a good thing. I do appreciate you guys hanging out. Um, any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments. Suggestions, go ahead and put them down there, too. And if you haven't already checked it out, check out the shavingcadre.com if you're looking for a bunch of guys to talk about both shaving and a bunch of other fun stuff. All right, until next week, have a great weekend, great shaves, and see you next week.